Vice former President John Ajikun Kufo today called on Vice President Mr. John Dramani Mahama to notify the presidency about the launch of his foundation tomorrow. The Leadership, Governance and Development Foundation is to be set up at the University of Ghana, Legon, and the Kwame Krumah University of Science and Technology in Kumasi. Also at the castle were distinguished invited guests, the former president of South Africa, Mr. Tabin Beki, and the former German, pres German president, Mr. Horst Kola. Napoleon Atokito reports. He was given a dignified welcome to the castle, Osu. Former president John Ejekum Kufo led Ghana for eight years, between 2001 and 2009. He had been a politician right from his youthful days, and described as a man with a wealth of experience in national and international politics. He is kick-starting the process towards the establishment of his foundation for leadership, governance, and development. The foundation is to be located at the University of Ghana, Ligon, and the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology in Kumase. One of the critical issues confronting not only Africa, but other continents as well, is leadership, that can pioneer or inspire development. Ghana, described as a beacon of democracy on the continent, has been lucky to have successive governments introducing institutions and strategies to unlock the African potential. Four eminent statesmen, Vice President John Dramani Mahama, former German President Horst Koller, former South African President Thabo Mbeki, and former Ghana President Kufu put their heads together on the issue. Our brother, President Sabu Mbeki, in South Africa, and our friends, may I add our brother, President Hörstela, uh, former president of the Federal Republic of Germany. Uh, we've come uh, for a cause and a purpose uh, of which you are aware. Some time ago, I intimated President Mills, um, of what I was trying to do by way of setting up a foundation uh, whose focus would be on leadership, governance, and development. And that uh, I intended to invite uh, these very distinguished leaders uh, to come and support me launch it. Having worked with him on the continent here, uh, we certainly didn't want to lose uh, his experience uh, and his wisdom and capacity in terms of continuing to address the challenges that the continent faces, exactly in these areas that he has mentioned, uh, Vice President. Uh, of, of leadership, of governance, of development, uh, which are critical issues that all of us are confronting on the continent. Uh, and I must say that I was indeed very pleased uh, when I was told uh, that uh, uh, President Mills and, and the government of Ghana uh, support this initiative. I am very pleased that John Kufo invited me and also meeting here with Tabo Mbeki, which was in a very early stage, even my teacher, learning about the renaissance of Africa and somehow what we experience today, it is a renaissance of Africa and Tabo Mbeki made a big contribution to that. Therefore, I'm also honored, Tabo, to be with you. I want to congratulate President Kufo on the setting up of this foundation and to say that it's a demonstration that as we continue to have a wealth of experience, you know, from presidents who are still very active and energetic, you know, on our continent. It helps to share those experiences in order that we can accelerate the growth of Africa. Um, we're grateful for those of us who are relatively younger. We're grateful to uh, President Tabo Mbeki and President Kufu and President Wad and that group of uh, leaders who uh, espouse the issue of African Renaissance. And we can see that that renaissance is playing out. Um, very happily, it, it appears, and a lot of people predict that the next crop of emerging uh, markets are going to come out of Africa. And many countries in Africa are deepening democracy, consolidating constitutional governance, and the dividends of democracy are beginning to show 
in, in our various countries. Reports say President Jonathan Mills, now attending the 66th UN General Assembly in New York, gave a seal to the former president's effort in the build-up to the sword cutting. Eighteen years have been chucked under the fourth Republican democracy, with the forebears of the current presidency, the duo of Presidents Rawlings and Kufu, each ruling for eight years. Political stability and steady economic growth have been the hallmarks of Ghana's democracy, with President Atamil's determined to continue the trend, as pointed out by his vice, Napoleon Atukito, the Castle Usu.